Article 101. Competence to Settle Identification of Parents and Children. 1. The Civil Status Registry is competent to identify parents and children in accordance with the Civil Status Law in case there is no dispute. 2. The court is competent to identify parents and children in case there is a dispute or the person requested for being identified as parent or child has died and in the case prescribed in Article 92 of this law. A court's decision identifying a parent or child shall be sent to the Civil Status Registry for recording in accordance with the Civil Status Law, to parties involved in the parent and child identification, and to related persons agencies and organizations as prescribed by the Civil Procedure Law. Article 102. Persons having the right to request identification of parents and children. 1. An adult parent or child with civil act capacity has the right to request the Civil Status Registry to identify his, her child or parent in the case prescribed in Clause 1, Article 101 of this law. 2. A parent or child, as prescribed by the Civil Procedure Law, has the right to request a court to identify his, her child or parent in the case prescribed in Clause 2, Article 101 of this law. 3. The following persons, agencies and organizations, as prescribed by the Civil Procedure Law, have the right to request a court to identify the parents of a minor child or an adult child who has lost his, her civil act capacity or identify the child for a minor parent or a parent who has lost his, her civil act capacity in the case prescribed in Clause 2, Article 101 of this law. A slash parent, child, guardian. B slash the state management agency in charge of families. C slash the state management agency in charge of children. D slash the women's union. Chapter 6 relations among other family members. Article 103. Rights and obligations among other family members. 1. Family members have the right and obligation to care for, look after, assist and respect one another. Lawful personal and property rights and interests of family members prescribed in this law, the civil code and other relevant laws shall be protected by law. 2. Family members that live together have the obligations to participate in housework and income generating activities, contribute their efforts, money or other properties to maintaining family life suitable to their actual capabilities. 3. The state shall adopt policies to create conditions for familial generations to care for look after and assist one another for the purpose of preserving and upholding the fine traditions of Vietnamese families, shall encourage individuals and organizations in the society to jointly participate in preserving and upholding the fine traditions of Vietnamese families. Article 104. Rights and Obligations of Paternal Grandparents, Maternal Grandparents and Grandchildren. 1. Paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents have the right and obligation to look after, care for and educate their grandchildren, lead exemplary lives and set good examples for their children and grandchildren, for minor grandchildren, adult grandchildren who have lost their civil act capacity or have no working capacity and no property to support themselves and no raising people as prescribed in Article 105 of this law. Paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents have the obligation to raise these grandchildren. 2. Grandchildren have the obligation to respect, care for and support their paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents, for paternal grandparents or maternal grandparents who have no children to raise them, their adult grandchildren have the obligation to raise them. Article 105. Rights and Obligations of Siblings. Siblings have the right and obligation to love, care for and assist one another, in case they no longer have parents or their parents have no conditions to look after, raise, care for and educate their children, they have the right and obligation to raise one another. Article 106. Rights and Obligations of Aunts, Uncles, Nieces and Nephews. Aunts, Uncles, Nieces and Nephews have the right and obligation to love care for and assist one another, 
have the right and obligation to raise one another in case those who need to be raised no longer have parents, children and people prescribed in Articles 104 and 105 of this law or still have these people but these people have no conditions to perform their raising obligation. Chapter 7 Support Article 107 Support Obligation 1. The support obligation shall be performed between parents and children, among siblings, between paternal grandparents, maternal grandparents and grandchildren, between aunts, uncles and nieces, nephews, and between husband and wife in accordance with this law. The support obligation can be neither replaced by another obligation nor transferred to other people. 2. In case persons having the support obligation shirk this obligation, at the request of the persons, agencies or organizations prescribed in Article 119 of this law, courts shall compel these persons to perform the support obligation in accordance with this law. Article 108. One person supporting many persons. In case a person has the obligation to support many persons, the supporting person and support it. Persons shall reach agreement on methods and levels of support suitable to the actual income and ability of the supporting person and essential needs of supported persons, if failing to reach agreement, they may request a court to settle it. Article 109. Many persons jointly supporting one person or many persons. In case many persons have the obligation to support one person or many persons, they shall agree mutually upon methods and levels of contribution suitable to the actual income and ability of each supporting person and the essential needs of the supported persons, if they fail to reach agreement, they may request a court to settle it. Article 110. Support Obligation of Parents Toward Children Parents who do not live with their children or live with their children but violate the support obligation have the obligation to support minor children and adult children who have no working capacity and no property to support themselves. Article 111. Support Obligation of Children Toward Parents Adult children who do not live with their parents have the obligation to support their parents who have no working capacity and no property to support themselves. Article 112. The Support Obligation Among Siblings. In case they no longer have parents or their parents have no working capacity and no property to support their children, adult elder siblings who do not live together with their younger siblings have the obligation to support their minor siblings who have no property to support themselves or adult younger siblings who have no working capacity and no property to support themselves. Adult younger siblings who do not live together with their elder siblings have the obligation to support their elder siblings who have no working capacity and no property to support themselves. Article 113. Support Obligation Between Paternal Grandparents, Maternal Grandparents and Grandchildren. 1. Paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents who do not live with their grandchildren have the obligation to support their minor grandchildren or their adult grandchildren who have no working capacity, no property to support themselves and have no one to support them as prescribed in Article 112 of this law. 2. Adult grandchildren who do not live together with their paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents have the obligation to support their paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents who have no working capacity, no property to support themselves and have no one else to support them as prescribed by this law. Article 114. Support Obligation Among Aunts, Uncles and Nieces, Nephews. 1. Aunts. Uncles who do not live with their nieces, nephews have the obligation to support their minor nieces, nephews or their adult nieces, nephews who have no working capacity, no property to support themselves and have no one else to support them as prescribed by this law. 2. Adult nieces, nephews who do not live with their aunts, uncles have the obligation to support their aunts. Uncles who have no working capacity, no property to support themselves and have no one else to support them as prescribed by this law. Article 115. Maintenance Obligation Between Husband and Wife After Divorce When divorced, 
if the party facing financial difficulties requests maintenance for plausible reasons, the other party has the obligation to provide maintenance according to his, her ability. Article 116. Support Level 1. The support level shall be agreed upon by the person with the support obligation and the supported person or the latter's guardian on the basis of the actual income and ability of the person with the support obligation and the essential needs of the supported person, if they fail to reach agreement, they may request a court to settle it. 2. When there is a plausible reason, the support level may change. The change of the support level shall be agreed upon by the parties. If they fail to reach agreement, they may request a court to settle it. Article 117. Support Method Support may be provided on a monthly, quarterly, biannual, annual or one-off basis. In case the person with the support obligation falls into a difficult financial circumstance, thus being unable to perform his, her support obligation, the parties may reach agreement to change the method of support or temporarily cease the support, if they fail to reach agreement, they may request a court to settle it. Article 118. Termination of Support Obligation The support obligation shall terminate in the following cases. 1. The supported person has become adult and has working capacity or property to raise himself or herself. 2. The supported person is adopted. 3. The supporting person directly raises the supported person. 4. The supporting or supported person dies. 5. The supported person remarries after divorce. 6. Other cases prescribed by law. Article 119 Persons having the right to request performance of the support obligation. 1. The supported person, his, her parent or guardian has the right in accordance with the civil procedure law to request a court to force the person who fails to voluntarily perform the support obligation to perform such obligation. 2. The following individuals, agencies or organizations have the right in accordance with the civil procedure law to request a court to force the person who fails to voluntarily perform the support obligation to perform such obligation. A slash next of kin. B slash state management agencies in charge of families. C slash state management agencies in charge of children. D slash women's unions. 3. Other individuals, agencies and organizations have the right, when detecting acts of shirking the performance of the support obligation, to request the agencies or organizations prescribed at points B, C and D. Clause 2 of this article to request a court to force the people who fail to voluntarily perform the support obligation to perform such obligation. Article 120. Encouragement of assistance from organizations and individuals. The state and society shall encourage organizations and individuals to provide assistance in cash or kind to families and individuals in extremely difficult and needy circumstances. Chapter 8. Marriage and Family Relations Involving Foreign Elements Article 121. Protection of Lawful Rights and Interests of Parties to Marriage and Family Relations Involving Foreign Elements 1. In the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, marriage and family relations involving foreign elements shall be respected and protected in accordance with Vietnamese law and treaties to which the Socialist Republic of Vietnam is a contracting party. 2. In their marriage and family relations with Vietnamese citizens, unless otherwise provided by Vietnamese law, foreigners in Vietnam have the same rights and obligations like Vietnamese citizens. 3. The Socialist Republic of Vietnam State shall protect lawful rights and interests of Vietnamese citizens abroad in their marriage and family relations in accordance with Vietnamese law, the host country's law and international laws and practices. 4. The government shall detail the settlement of marriage and family relations involving foreign elements in order to protect lawful rights and interests of the parties and guarantee the implementation of Clause 2, Article 5 of this law. Article 122. 
Application of Laws to Marriage and Family Relations Involving Foreign Elements 1. Unless otherwise provided by this law, the legal provisions of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam concerning marriage and family are applicable to marriage and family relations involving foreign elements. In case a treaty to which the Socialist Republic of Vietnam is a contracting party contains provisions different from those of this law, the provisions of such treaty prevail. 2. In case this law and other legal documents of Vietnam refer to the application of a foreign law, such foreign law shall apply, provided such application does not contravene the fundamental principles laid down in Article 2 of this law. In case a foreign law refers back to the Vietnamese law, Vietnam's marriage and family law shall apply. 3. In case a treaty to which the Socialist Republic of Vietnam is a contracting party refers to the application of a foreign law, such foreign law shall apply. Article 123. Competence to settle cases and matters of marriage and family involving foreign elements. 1. The competence to register civil status related to marriage and family relations involving foreign elements must comply with the law on civil status. 2. The competence to settle cases and matters of marriage and family involving foreign elements at court must comply with the Civil Procedure Code. 3. District-level people's courts of localities where Vietnamese citizens reside are competent to cancel illegal marriages, settle divorce cases, disputes over the rights and obligations of husband and wife, parents and children, recognition of parents, children child adoption and guardianship between Vietnamese citizens residing in border areas and citizens of neighboring countries living in areas bordering on Vietnam in accordance with this law and other Vietnamese laws. Article 124. Consular Legalization of Papers and Documents on Marriage and Family. Papers Established granted or certified by competent foreign agencies for use in the settlement of cases and matters of marriage and family shall be consularly legalized, except cases eligible for exemption from consular legalization under treaties to which the Socialist Republic of Vietnam is a contracting party or on the principle of reciprocity. Article 125 Recognition and writing of judgments and decisions of foreign courts and competent foreign agencies on marriage and family. 1. The recognition of judgments and decisions on marriage and family of foreign courts with request for enforcement in Vietnam must comply with the Civil Procedure Code. 2. The government shall prescribe the writing in civil status registers of matters of marriage and family according to judgments and decisions of foreign courts without request for enforcement in Vietnam or without request for non-recognition in Vietnam, and decisions on marriage and family of other competent foreign agencies.